Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to give you guys my monthly update on my M1 Finance portfolio, which is currently at $11,200. I also want to point out that this is my 13th year investing in the stock market and I have seen a lot. I have seen the market go up. I have seen the market go down. And this year, for year to date, we are down around 23% or 24%. I think that this is a great buying opportunity where everybody should be slowly dollar cost averaging into their high conviction companies. I'm telling you that if you're not buying right now, then there's something wrong. Even though we're down 23% for the year, but if we look at it for the five year trend and we can see the five year trend here is up. If I were to extrapolate this data to go even 10 years, it would still be up even though in the short term or year to date we are down. But in the long run, the stock market is up and it will continue to go higher. As always, before we begin, make sure you guys check out the disclaimer in the description below because I'm not a financial advisor. So before we begin, let's take a look at the market. I'm going to take you guys to the fear and greed index. This is a fun index to look at because it tells us the overall mood of the market. Currently, the market is in extreme fear and that's what's driving the market. So whenever it's extreme fear, that means we are in a bear trend or it should be going downwards. The reason why I like fear and greed index because it tells us if we should be buying or selling normally, we should be buying when others are fearful. So you should be buying right now when it's in extreme fear or fear and we should be selling a little bit when when everything is nice and sunny that's when we should be trimming it's just fun to look at this fear and index it's useful to look at the stock market levels compared to where they have been over the past few months and when the s p 500 is above or below the moving average that's a sign of positive momentum and the opposite is true it's under the average so this is a bearish sign and then when it goes above it it should be a positive sign so again currently the overall market's mood is extreme fear and that's when as us smart investors we like to come in we like to buy up our solid companies so i'm going to take you guys to my m1 finance portfolio we're going to take a look at one day i'm up around 296 dollars and if we look at it for one week 201 dollars just market gains and i received four dollars and 13 cents in the last one week if we look at it for one month it's a little bearish i made around i'm down 6.7 percent but I made $36 in cash dividend payment. And we look at it for one year, I'm down 4.6% and then click on the one year chart, we're down around 18%. It should have been actually a lot higher, but due to in the last one year, I have received $455 in cash payment. That's why it brings out my overall return to 18%. And then if we scroll down, we can see my sectors and inside my sectors, I have my holdings. One cool thing about my portfolio is that even though recently the Fed has increased rates by another 75 basis points, it hardly affects my company because my companies have little to no debt, but they're not as much affected compared to the, all the other companies out there that have that are high in debt. So my companies have little to no debt and therefore it does not affect us. My companies are not tied to the interest rate as much so they will recover in a more healthier, quicker way. So this is the technology sector that we have. Nvidia, Broadcom, Cisco, Texas Instrument, Microsoft, National Instrument, Garmin and Skywork Solution. So currently I have a buying power of $60. So guys, if you guys made it this far, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps us reach more viewers out there. At the end of the day, we're all on the same team. We want to help each other grow. So subscribe to the channel to see these monthly updates. Currently, I have a buying power of $60. We are in my technology sector. So we're going to hit a little buy. We'll do $30 and hit continue and it should confirm the buy tomorrow. And then we should have another $30 in buying power. So we're gonna go back to another sector. We can go to energy, Pambina pipeline and uh, MMP. Just keep in mind that not all of them are Sharia compliance. So you wanna make sure you take a look at that. So we'll make another buy here for my energy sector of $30. Continue, it should go through. I showed you guys my technology sector now. My energy sector only has two companies, PBA 
and MMP. This one is a monthly dividend and this one is a pipeline company where they supply energy. We're going to show you guys one more consumer cyclical. You can see that I made $171 in earned dividend for the all time chart. So in my consumer cyclical, I have GPC, PKG, Tapestry, Contour Blend, Gentech, Expedia, Marine Products, Escalade, and VFC. So check these out. You can pause the video, take a look if these companies are right for you or not. So now I'm going to take you guys back to my portfolio and then show you guys my activities. So we click on it, activity type. We just want to do dividends only. So these are the dividends I've been getting it for the last one or two months. And if you guys look at it, September 30th, got $1.93. September 30th, $4.84. 29th, $1.29.30. 26th, $3.00, $1.00, $6.00, $2.00, and so on. Literally every few days, I'm getting dividend payments. So I consider my portfolio as as a business where I'm constantly getting cash flow day after day. So literally every few days I have dividends coming up, even though it might not be a lot, but in the long run, it adds up. So now I'm going to take you guys to my tracking sheet. So this is my M1 Finance monthly dividend tracking sheet. We can see that the overall trend is up. So even though it says 2021, I'm a little bit back. So we're going to fill those in. So for the month of February 21, I receive about $23 in dividend payments. You can see that increase right here. For March, I got $39.78. And then for April, I got $26.85. The overall trend is up. So guys, if you haven't made one of these charts, make sure you guys it helps you to motivate yourself to continue to invest because you can see the literally money coming in 38, 33, 37, 41, 39, 19, 18, 23, 26 dollars literally coming in every single month, month after month. And that is the beauty of dividend investing. Even though when the market is going down, we still have our dividends come in as always guys if you guys made it this far hit the like button hit the subscribe button i recently got into real estate investing where i get paid every month actually i get paid every single day so i want you guys to check out some of my real estate investments and check my videos out in my youtube channel so check those out where now i have stocks crypto and real estate property to diversify my wealth my cash flow literally I'm getting in money is coming in from three different places. As always, guys, if you guys made it this far, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Wait till next month for me to give you guys another update on my portfolio to see if you want to take up these strategies or not. As always, check out the claimer in the description below. Bye, everyone.